Sheltered from the sunlight in the shade beneath the tree. We hide behind Hey everyone, Channel Number 12 here, and welcome back to another food review. Today we are checking out Tim Hortons once again because they've just released two new baked goods. One of them is a donut and the other one is a Timbit. So it's called the Tim's Churro Treat. The perfect blend of a cinnamon and sugar, our new Tim's Churro Treats add just the right amount of sweetness to your day. And it's a churro donut with caramel filling and a churro Timbit. And I'm gonna do both of them today. So. The picture looks like, the donut looks like, I said, a honey cruller, but they have actual caramel filling in the actual donut, and the actual Timbit is just like a Timbit, except uh, like a honey cruller, churro, a Timbit with nothing inside. So I got both of them right here. So I got Timbits and the actual donut. So we're gonna try the Timbit. I've done this before the combination of Timbit and Donut when they they did release a new baked good. I did a couple of years ago when I did the uh, salted caramel donut and Timbit all at once in one video. So here is the Timbit. Kind of looks like airy with some cinnamon sugar. So let's try this. Yeah, like I said, airy. So it's like a honey crawler but in Timbit form. So the Timbits are pretty good. Here's another one. So the Timbit is pretty good. The Timbits, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. Not the best, but still pretty good. Pretty tasty too. Just like the description on their website, sweet and tasty. So I got a donut right here. The fact that there's caramel filling. So like I said, it looks like a honey cruller. But the fact that around it, it's cinnamon sugar with a caramel filling. So let's try. So let's try to get a bite where the caramel filling is. This is pretty fantastic. I think they took the step, the next step of a honey cruller by adding the cinnamon sugar around it and the actual caramel inside. They just brought the honey cruller, like I said, to the next level. And I'm impressed by, by this new donut. Like the website says, it's the right amount of sweetness to your day. It is sweet and it is delicious. It's very tasty. And like I said, I'm very impressed by Tim Hortons bringing something like the churro donut with the caramel filling. It's a great idea. So I'm going to finish this and I'm going to come back and let you know what I really think. Stay tuned. One more bite. One more bite. There you go, everyone. That was the Tim Hortons new bake good. It is the Tim's churro donut with caramel and the actual Timbit. I'm actually speechless with the donut. The actual Timbit itself, like I said, it's a four out of five. It's pretty tasty, but uh, and overall the donut beats the Timbit. I'm very impressed how they turn this honey cruller into a churro with caramel, sugar, and cinnamon. Everything about it was fantastic, and I'm actually just speechless right now. First, in general, fantastic. The actual donut was moist, it was delicious, it was soft. The amount of sweetness between the sugar, the cinnamon, and the actual caramel. The caramel had been through the entire donut. I was surprised because I was uh, I was thinking maybe it was just at one spot, but the actual caramel went through the entire donut, in which I'm very happy and pleased with. So for the donut, I'm going to give this a 5 out of 5. Definitely no complaints. If you guys have tried it already, let me know in the comments section below on what you guys all thought about it. And for those who 
haven't tried it, like I said, stop this video, go and get it, and then let me know what you guys all think. So, like I said, five out of five. So, hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you guys did, sure you support by giving this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to continue to see more Tim Hortons reviews like this one. All my links to my social media will be in the description. So, do follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for upcoming reviews of vlogs and cooking videos. So, until next time, peace out. Sheltered from the sunlight in the shade beneath the tree, we hide behind.